All right, I'm, uh, my name is Miles Hunsinger, and uh, I'm uh, fighting out of Las Vegas, and I'm from uh, Nampa, Idaho. Talk to us about your, your journey, man. How did you first start training and, and start going down this path? You know, uh, I, uh, I watched The Ultimate Fighter uh, in uh, the first season, 2005, and, uh, and I thought it was amazing. I, I, I immediately joined the wrestling team and, and thought it was something I could do. It's pretty incredible. So this, this, I mean, this show actually gave you your career direction. Absolutely. Nice. What, so what, what did you do? So you started wrestling then, and then did you, did you just train wrestling to start with, or how did the whole journey go? Yeah, uh, so I, I honestly, I, wanted, I went to some, uh, some mixed martial arts academies and stuff, but honestly, I couldn't afford it. So I just uh, joined the school wrestling team, and uh, it was the next best thing. That's awesome. How old were you at that point? I was an eighth grader. Eighth grader, that's awesome. So did you wrestle through high school and then college as well? Or? Uh, yeah, I wrestled through high school. Um, you know, I had a lot of success, and then I, uh, I got a scholarship to play college football at Eastern Arizona. Nice. So were you considering a football career at one point, or was it still the fighting thing? Yeah, yeah, I did. I, uh, I went down the football path, and then uh, and I actually uh, moved to Australia after and uh, played some rugby, and then, uh, and then went back to fighting. What was the rugby thing like? It was, uh, it was sick, man. I uh, um, you know, got to travel and uh, you know, see some beautiful beaches and, and, uh, and really uh, just fell in love with, uh, with competing again. Right. So does that mean you're, you're Team Volkanovski all the way? Is that how it goes? Or? Yeah, I, I, like, I like Volkanovski a lot. Um, you know, Ortega's, Ortega's got the great grappling and uh, Volkanovski's got the sick striking. Fantastic. So you, you, come, you go through that journey as, you know, rugby, and then when, how do you come back and so say, now I'm going to go start pursuing this mixed martial arts thing again? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, man, I, I, uh, I just joined immediately when I got back to the States. I was just, you know, so hungry to compete and uh, just felt like I was too athletic to waste it. And then just uh, dove head first into this fighting thing. And, uh, you know, 10 fights later, still undefeated and uh, ready to make some noise in the UFC. I was to say, impressive record so far. I mean, how do, you, how do you feel about your professional career thus far? Uh, you know, it's, it's been great. You know, I took a, I've taken a long journey, you know, because I, I have a family, uh, you know, so I've been balancing that, that lifestyle with fighting. Um, but, you know, it's been great. They support me and, uh, and the boys come to the gym with me every day uh, and uh, really motivate me to, to keep pursuing this. So this opportunity comes up. I, I gotta be. Like, are you torn a little bit? Like on the one hand, this is the show that, that helped you know birth this for you. On the other hand, you gotta be away from your family, and they're here in Vegas, right? So they're like right down the road, and you're gonna be isolated. So I mean, what what, what was your thought on, on taking this opportunity? Uh, honestly, it's been it's it's one of the hardest things I've ever had to do is leave my family. Um, but uh, but they're very supportive, and uh, and I'm just looking at the big picture and know I'm doing it for them. Yeah, I guess you'll see how you react once you're in there. But do you think that's going to be a real kind of screw with your mind a little bit? Like, I mean, you jump on a plane and let's say you're in Australia or something. It's just like, well, I'm, I'm away. But if you're, I mean, do you, do you know, do you, have you been to the house yet? Or like, do you know how far it is from where you actually live? Yeah, I thought about that too. I'm probably going to be looking at my house in the backyard, you know, uh, <laughs> like, I was wanna, you know, I just want to go home. But, you know, it's not going to be an option for me, unfortunately. Um, but, uh, you know, hopefully I, the cameras don't catch me crying or anything about it. Uh, but I know it's going to be emotional. Nice. Kind of one of the, uh, the elder statesmen, I guess. I mean, there's a, it's a little range. There's a couple guys maybe older than you. But, I mean, do you feel like, is this a, you know, do you got to be like, I don't want a role model or make sure these kids aren't in here acting like little frat kids around here? Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Um, you know, I'm a, you know, a tough guy from, uh, from Nampa, Idaho. And, uh, you know, I just, you know, I'm not going to take any crap from these guys, to be honest. Nice. Last thing for me, I mean, obviously, you've got the nice professional record already. I mean, you win here, you're in the UFC. I mean, do you feel right now the skills are UFC ready, or do you feel like this is going to be an opportunity to kind of finish up the preparation? Yeah, you know, I, I fell in love with all aspects of this sport, so I'm very well-rounded. Um, but, you know, just getting that time in there, I think it's going to be great before, before going on the big show. Was that, which season of the Ultimate Fight was your favorite to watch? Uh, my, my favorite was the first season, but uh, I'm also a big fan of, uh, of uh, what season, I want to say season 12, where Amir Sadala won. I think that was a great season, and that's actually my head coach, so shout out to Amir. You mentioned you went and played rugby in Australia. I asked Alex this, and he was smart enough not to answer it, so maybe you'll do the same thing, but what's the, the biggest banter or craziest thing you saw while hanging out with a bunch of rugby guys? Um, you know, just uh, my, my best memory was just playing on the beach, you know, barefoot, uh, you know, drinking some beers and uh, you know, just, just having a great time.